Hello, my name is Garx82, and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizon Season 3. I think I have got the name right quite a few times now, <laughs> so uh, doing better. Okay, I'm just over by my oil field. I am in the the biggest one of the light oil. I figured uh, we can do that. And if we pump this and we run out, we can always kind of go to like an adjacent close run. I mean, we don't have to do the biggest ones. These are perfectly uh, big enough. I mean, if you look at this, this is the biggest uh, oil field uh, around. I mean, it's quite a bit bigger than most of these. Uh, raw oil could be good. Uh, I think eventually we'll probably switch over to the heavy, heavy oil, but at this point, I think we'll just stick to that. And that's actually going to be on the side of a mountain, which actually could look kind of cool. Um, but I have gone ahead and you see here's the pipeline input. I have run it all the way underneath and entrance is right here so i've just kind of run it all the way and we'll just cover this up don't really need these berries here anymore actually i ended up not really using them that much we get so much food from our right i had a hole in there because there was a angry witch sitting in front of my door I couldn't remember if I had put it back. Um, what we have. All right. So that will output the oil and then it'll come in and then up. We should think. I don't think I set the output correctly. Yeah, let's input. Uh, I don't remember. Is, is it like one side? All right, so that's the output. I think it's the back. So if I do that, I think that's if I remember correctly how that works. Although it does say not connected, um, pretty sure that's how it works. So output and then inputs way over there. And the cool thing is you don't have to. You don't have to have the whole thing chunk loaded, which is cool. I think it just teleports the the stuff. So we'll have that output into a tank. And I'm kind of going underneath because I actually I like having kind of um kind of like a basement part for stuff that I'm not putting items in. Like we're not once we set this up, it just kind of works. So I don't want that all up here in the way i can hear my solar boilers which by the way they were all calcifying uh, so i ended up breaking them all and replacing them because they were you know what i'm gonna do these two as well even though they're just barely i'm just gonna do it so they're all kind of like basically at the same point um yeah, it is one of the downsides of the solar boilers. They do, they do um, calcify over time and get get less effective. I realized because I was trying to smelt the cobalt, and the blast furnace turned off because we weren't producing enough power to keep all these uh, batteries supplied, and I didn't realize. So thankfully, I only lost one cobalt, which isn't. Uh, which isn't difficult to get. All right, I'm going to throw that in there. I did put a bunch of lazurite in here because you don't really use a whole lot. Um, I might be able to get, now that we have the electrolyzer, I can get a lot of aluminum, sodium, calcium, raw silicon. So we might actually process that all. I'm not jumping into that right away, although... Yeah, the problem with 
the lazurite giving aluminum we can't use the aluminum yet unfortunately um we need alumina because we can't smelt this uh it needs hv and it needs better well that's kind of cool the the higher tier actually needs better coils i've never actually i've never actually seen that oh it's a different recipe that's why <laughs> uh, i was like just gonna say i'm like i've never actually noticed that it has a different thing but uh that's nickel alumite it's not a thing yeah so we're gonna need better things for that now canthal is what is that hmm. canthal's not difficult to uh, get it's just aluminum iron and chrome you do need a stack of you need two stacks of that actually um for all the coils but before we get the coils we're gonna need mica and before we get all that we're definitely gonna need to get our oil up and running okay so let me continue doing this we are gonna have to work towards the mv energy hatch which means we're gonna have to get wafers going um and to get that we are gonna need to get silicone solar grade so um if we need I'm just seeing how many, oops, I, I just like the very basic stuff to get this. So this gives us six. So that gives us enough for like three MV energy hatches, just one wafer. So I'm like, okay, so we need, yeah, we really only need, at this point, we really only need one bull. Uh, so we need 32. So I'll probably, I'll probably just do this. So I get the, I'm not going to set this whole thing up right away. Um, I'm just going to do enough to get us there. Um, all right. So I guess that's kind of what I need to work on first. It's this right here. So there's two different ways to go. Um, we did this route. The first time maybe we could do this route all right actually now that i'm looking at it we probably need to process some of this for chlorine as well i think sodalite also gives sodalite of chlorine if i remember correctly i wish you could move these at top yeah, see, that gives chlorine, silicon, and aluminum. Aluminium, however you want to call it. All right, let me uh, figure out how I want to go, but I could just... Let me actually... I may just get the parts, the rest of this thing built, and then we'll worry about the... How about I do that? I'll get everything else built because it's mostly steel, input buses, and stuff, and then I will worry about the final bit. All right, we are back. I've gone ahead and crafted up the parts for the drill. You can see I have everything except the uh, the uh, energy hatch. So I didn't do, it does suggest the input bus. Pretty sure that is just, uh, it's for like the mining pipes. Pretty sure that is optional. So I just ended up crafting up a second solid steel machine casing. Uh, instead so we do have the output hatch i have the maintenance hatch on the back uh, and then i just need the the energy hatch i might rearrange it but we'll get to that in a bit i'm just trying to decide how i'm going to power it uh, but i am currently crafting up the stuff for the quest now i do want to make sure i actually do the quest because it's kind of annoying um if I get this wrong. So that just needs six or uh, this is I'm trying this one. Uh, there's two different ways. To get silicon tetrachloride and then I think you mix it with like magnesium. This is just you mix it with hydrochloric acid and the hydrogen. So I think this might be easier. All right, let me get this going. Um, 
Uh, you do seem to get the hydrochloric back as well. So you get the trichlorosilane, and then you mix that with more hydrogen, and you get the silicon grade, and then you get the hydrochloric back. So when we actually... Wait. Do we get... Is this fully... I didn't realize that was... F I mean, you have to start with the hydrochloric. Yeah, you get two hydrogen, and then you mix... The hydrogen with the... Again? You don't even have to add a... Wait, was I doing this, like, way more complicated before? We were doing uh, the silicon tetrachloride. We were mixing it with zinc. I think is what we were doing originally in the... But now I'm like... Is this... Is this we're getting this stuff back, aren't we? Wait, why did that? Oh, it's sometimes it doesn't update. Uh, all right, so we'll pull that out. It's kind of annoying. Well, obviously, we're going to get this set up to fully. Uh, but then I just do that. And then we get the hydrochloric back. All right, that seems easier than I thought that was going to be. And there is the silicone. I guess we could do, if I crafted up more hydrochloric acid, we could do, I could do more at once. Uh, but like I said, we'll, we'll have this fully automated. I don't know. Obviously, two chemical reactors. I'm just trying to figure out like how we would bounce it back and forth between the two things because the empty cells are definitely kind of funny. Yeah, and then we just put that back in there and... All right, so does the hydrochloric... A hydrochloric acid ends up in... So we could put that, the hydrochloric, back in. That part's easy, I think. And then it's just... I think and then we just put the cells back in, don't we? Like the hydrogen will go to the next chemical reactor. Yeah, we'll output the... We'll output both of these to the adjacent, and then we'll send it back. All right, that's actually... Way easier than I thought that would be. All right. Um, but for the time being, I'm just doing this manually. Wait, are we... Is there a... Am I crazy? It's three, and you get the one. And then you mix the one with the hydrogen, and you just got to get the three back. How did, oh my, I'm only doing six at a time. Yeah, uh, uh, that's, yeah, I'm only doing six at a time. I forgot. I only made enough for six. I made 18 buckets of hydrochloric acid. All right, I'm confusing myself. I was like, why is it stuck with the, the empty cells? But I, I only did enough for six. Okay, so I am, all right, I need to, after, after this, I got to hold the four the cells to complete that. And then we'll complete this. And that completes that. All right. And then I got to do that 32 times. We should have. Yep, we have that in there. And then I hammer this down, I think. Or the small gallium arsenides. And then we use those for those. All right, cool. I seem to be doing better than I realized. Okay, we are back and just kind of working through the quests. Fortunately, the wafer quest does require a MV cutting machine. I wasn't really going to build that. I would rather have 
just used the LV one to get the wafers and then use those wafers to craft up the circuits that we need eventually for that. But uh, I figure uh, I'll just go ahead and do the quest as intended. So there is that. And we got those in there. So while that is doing that, because we don't have lubricant yet, so the water recipes are like twice as long, unfortunately. I think I got everything for that. So do that. I did think about putting the wire mill next to the assembly machine to do the wires, but I figured I don't always want them like the cable version, so that's probably we'll probably end up getting annoyed with that, so I'm not gonna do that. Alright. There is those. And then okay, it was two cables if I remember. Yeah, let me just we get this. Oh we get silicon. silicon solar grade back i don't remember i don't really ever remember getting that back but apparently we do all right and then there is the advanced precision laser engraver um i think i'm just gonna leave that for now just because i don't have <laughs> this is a little crazy over here uh, but i do need the laser engraver Actually, we'll just face that forward, I guess. This is this is hilarious. This is designed so funny. <laughs> All right, um, so that and that. Now I need the ultra low PC things, which are these, which means I need a green lens. I think yeah, there is emerald. I remember. It's this and a lathe, right? A lot of these things I have. Nope. The, the flawless in a lathe. Oh, it's a plate in a lathe. That's right. Ooh, but the plates we need. I need nine. No, oh, I'm going to have to go get more. Don't think I have any of the other Emerald, Terra, Tiberium. Yeah, I don't think I have any of that. Terra we get from Twilight Forest, but I might just have to go get some Emerald. All right, we are back. I went to the Nether because uh, I had to f get some Emerald Ore, and I realize I didn't have one found, but thankfully with the Prospector, uh, it is not too bad. Uh, just uh, some, I noticed one thing that it took quite a bit more durability to scan for ore than it does for underground fluids. But uh, thankfully it was only the third vein uh, that it took to find. So I've got our emeralds. Do I have a... No, we'll just throw it in here. But, okay, I was like, that should go. It is a compressing recipe. Uh, and then we use the lathe to get the, um, the lens. Yeah, and then that will give us the wafers and are good to go and grab it before yeah i wish there was kind of like an easier way to convert the like the gem into the plate but unfortunately there this is the only recipe there is no like there is no other recipe other than cutting a block and the only way to get the block is to convert it. Uh, and 
Yeah, because the kind of annoying thing is, okay, now I have... Does that have to be... Hold on. Does that have to be a MV lathe? I'm going to be annoyed if that needs to be MV. No! <laughs> uh, I didn't see that. All right. Dang it. I don't think I could have gotten an exquisite emerald. That is an LV recipe. Um, can I... Yeah, we can't. I couldn't have done the... Unless I got it from a sifter, there is... No way I could have done that. Mm. What's an MV lave cost? I'm wondering, I'm like, should I just not MV? Ah, welcome to Greg Tech, where you think you're like all good, and then it turns out you're not. All right, so actually, the MV lave requires a flawless diamond, which I don't have a flawless diamond. So I feel like I'm kind of stuck getting a sifter. Um, we'll just do LV. Oh, that's right. I remember these things. These things are so annoyingly expensive at this point. Yeah. Actually, I don't have polyethylene. I'm trying to get polyethylene. That's the whole point of what I'm doing. So I got to do raw carbon mesh. Uh, we're not going to do the bioorganic stuff. Wait, hold up. How am I... <laughs> Can I even... Can I even get this without a sifter? I mean, I guess I could go manually grab a bucket and turn... Oh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I can't get these carbon things without an autoclave and plastic. Duh! Okay, we're back. I ran and got some oil. Manually just picked up some oil from the spout over there. So I just got three buckets uh, because I believe we need three buckets of sulfuric light fuel to get the ethylene that we need to do the... Actually, now I just realized... I think I may have screwed that up. <laughs> I think I need six buckets um, for the uh, here. here. So we're going to do severely steam cracked light fuel gives us that. No, actually, just kidding. We're good um, because um, we need three buckets. We actually craft up more than... We need three buckets to turn it from uh, sulfuric light fuel to regular light fuel. That's that's why I got enough for three buckets. All right. I was getting myself confused there. All right. Uh, let me actually... Let's do... We'll put the there. All right, so that is for the the silicone when we need it. So I'm just kind of saving that. I don't have a great place. Actually, we don't have any. We'll just put it in there. Uh, I don't have any chlorine saved because I used it all for that. All right, so we got our three there. And then we need a four. And is it one or I don't remember. I think it was two actually. Yeah. It was actually only 50 or 500. So there is the light fuel. Now we do have some hydrogen sulfide. I don't know if we're going to use that. All that much to be honest um now i gotta be careful with this i don't want to do the wrong thing here because that will make me sad oh i need to crack it with steam 
How am I going to do that? Because <laughs> I remember this being really kind of awkward with the steam. We got to get the, the steam. But getting a bucket of steam is like really awkward. So that goes from 100 to 800. I actually need... I need 2,000, don't we? So I actually need to do all three. So I need three things of steam. I th think... I do I have an empty... I do. Don't really have an easy way to get cells of steam. I actually got too much there, but <laughs> all right. Uh, does does having hot steam in my inventory cause damage? Is that what that damage is? It must be. All right. So, man, dealing with all these is dealing with all the different types of fluids when you don't have large chemical reactors. Oh boy. All right, so I need to make sure this is severely cracked. I'm just... All right, there we go. I didn't want to screw that up. I think we're good with that. Um, I think we can just avoid this steam. And to be honest, I'll probably just avoid that hydrogen sulfide for the time being. It's kind of weird it, it's not updating all the time. Yeah, I just realized I don't have any, I don't have an empty thing. I should probably get some more, but two is usually okay. It's just because I'm kind of fiddling around with um, the, I'm fiddling around with like a bunch of different fluids. All right, severely steam cracked. And then we do this to ethylene. And then... I need a 10. Yeah, I know I can do it like that. Sometimes I do. I do it both. So that will give us the ethylene, and then I have to mix it with oxygen, which we have right here. Um, we this I'm getting this set up. I'm basically this is what I'm basically working on, to be honest. Um, but I was not really prepared for that work. No, we have... No, we're good. Yeah, because it only does 144 at a time. Um, so, molten polyethylene. That's what I'm trying to get. In a regular chemical reactor. So, 144 with a thing of oxygen. Was it a... I already forgot. Was it one? Yeah. So I actually need two, and then we'll get this fully automated. We're going to have like a weird little amount. Uh, I'll put that in the, I'll put that in the, the chemical reactor when we get it set up. All right, so I have 432 of that. That will let us get the things for the sifter, which will... Uh, let us... Now I'm like, should I just go for the bigger sifter? I don't have a ton of aluminum. So the answer to that question is indeed no. Alright, so that will let us get the... That. That whole to-do was for that. Okay, we're back. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do an LV sifter at this point. And... Eh... Do I have 4x cable anywhere? I do. I know that's that's just tin. Don't I don't remember what the power requirements of this is. 16. Alright, so we're good. Uh there at the end. Um I did go mine up a bit more diamond. I'm sure I'm gonna need more than 20. 
because uh, it is well it's actually a it's 12 percent chance i guess i was thinking the exquisite also now that i'm thinking about it we do have emerald i could try for the exquisite Yeah, maybe I should do that. I didn't, you can, you can see, I didn't get a whole lot of emerald because I wasn't planning on doing sifting. But now maybe we should. All right, but we will we'll do that. So that is that. And then we will, I guess, craft up the lathe unless... Now I'm like, should we just go get... Now I have a sifter. I might as well just go get more emerald. All right, be right back. All right, we are back. And I have gone ahead, went and got some more emerald. Uh, I sent about, I think, about 50. You can see how much emerald I have gotten out of this uh, to get the... Or finally get the flawless and I have it going through here. It is 120 seconds, but that will let us use the precision laser engraver uh, to get the ULPIC. And then we can cut those down to get the ultra low PIC. So we'll get that done now. Uh, I have set this up. I think it actually needs an inventory on both. I don't know where the trying to find my axe. I think it's in the backpack. Uh, I totally thought I had my magnet on. Uh, oh, it says not connected. Well, now I'm confused. I, it said connected before. Yeah, I'll put. Hmm. The other one says connected. I'm pretty sure. Just over here, you can see it. It's not that far away from the base. Does that not say connected anymore? Yeah, connected to output. Yeah, connected. This is the input connected to the output, which is in the base. I must... I mean, I don't know. We'll have to just get it running and see. But uh, before we do that, I am going to have to craft up the energy hatch and the combustion generator. Oh, there it says connected. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, connected to input. All right, so that is set up. But uh, yeah, we just need to get the thing going. And unfortunately, this ended up being a rather a large little detour here. Um, I thought that was going to be easier to craft up, but there we go. I'm not going to put more of these because we're going to need them for, like, CPU. Not CPU. Uh, these random access memory chips. Um, for the circuits. And then we will be able to craft up the better components, but I'm going to have to get the distilleries built as well all right so there we go yeah integrated logic sources and random things these require few things so i'm actually gonna have to get <laughs> i'm gonna have to get the the things for these am i gonna have to do need mv for those unless i again sift a whole bunch of ores which i do have no, I processed all that ruby down, didn't I? I did. All right. Well, I got a little bit more to do before we can craft up the energy hatch and the combustion generator and get our oil drilling. I do have more cryolite over here somewhere. Yes. Just made me remind to get that going to start smelting our... Our aluminum, I did go to 
the Twilight Forest and get some more of the Quirelight. Um, but anyway, that is going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.